Thank you, OBS. December. Oh, he's probably busy. Just tell him we'll be back soon. Oh, that's right. He's king now. He's gonna be so busy, he'll probably forget about his two best buddies. Well, you always got Hakuna Matata, right? Guess so. What do you mean, guess so? And what if he forgets to tell the carnivores who we are? <laughs> One look at you, and you're a pig roast! That's Mr. Pig Roast. Same thing! And I'm not sticking around to be anybody's pork dinner! Boomba! You can never forget your true buddies. Now we have fear. Because we've upgraded our fire. A new episode was added because there's another tournament available over there that we're still not going to do. Sora, a boy who fights with Keyblade in hand, opening the way before him as he searches for Riku in the, and a way home. Sora has taken a feline form in this world, but he seems to have two left feet, four left balls, whatever. Donald Duck, the royal court magician, he's traveling the world with Sora and Goofy in search of the king. Donald's got new wings in this world, so naturally he got the hang of it right away. Goofy, captain of the royal knights, he's traveling with the worlds with Sora and Donald in search of the king. Goofy's been transformed into a turtle in this world, and it seems to suit him just fine. Simba, son of the great Mufasa, who grew up to succeed his father and rule the Pride Lands. As a young cub, Simba mistakenly thought he was responsible for his father's death. He left the Pride Lands and met two new friends, Timon and Pumbaa. They told him to lead a carefree life. During their first quest, Simba helped Sora, Donald, and Goofy whenever they called on him. Timon, a meerkat with and one of Simba's closest pals. He found Simba almost dead of thirst when he was just a cub. Timon and his best buddy Pumbaa taught Simba their motto, Hakuna Matata, which means no worries. And that's how Simba grew up, with no worries, taking life one day at a time. Pumba, a word hog and one of Simba's closest pals. He found Simba almost dead of thirst when he was just a cub. Pumba and his best buddy Timon taught Simba their motto, Hakuna Matata, which means no worries. Some folks are a bit put off by Pumba's pungency, but a kinder fellow you'll never find. Nala, Simba's, Simba's childhood friend Nala, has grown up to be a strong lioness. She's searching for help to save the Pride Lands, which, has fallen in, which have fallen into a terrible state. Mufasa, a great king of the Pride Lands who was loved by all the animals who lived there. He passed on the wisdom of generations of kings to his son Simba. Mufasa tried to climb to safety after saving young Simba from a stampede, but Scar sent him falling to his death. Rafiki, a mandrel who lives in the Pride Lands, Rafiki is a wise old shaman. Rafiki was a trusted advisor to Mufasa, who, and has always looked forward to the day Simba would take his father's place as king. Scar, Simba's evil uncle and brother of Mufasa. After Mufasa's death and Simba's disappearance, Scar became king of the Pride Lands and used the hyenas to do his dirty work. Scar hasn't taken care of the Pride Lands, and almost all the animals have been forced to leave. Shenzi, a cowardly hyena who hates lions. Shenzi takes the lead when she and her friends are up to mischief, and she's always quick to follow the strongest leader. Banzai, a cowardly hyena who hates lions. Banzai likes to complain, but doesn't like to work. He's always looking to find an easy meal. Ed, a witless hyena who's not very smart, but loves to laugh. He takes a lot of ribbing from his pal Shenzi and Banzai, but doesn't. But he doesn't seem to care. We arrived in a gorge, only to be threatened by hyenas. We had a... <clears throat> we had to practice moving around so Sora, Donald, and Goofy could get used to their new jungle attire. Then they met Nala, a lioness cornered by Heartless. She told us about the sad state of her homeland, and Sora agreed to, make, to help make things right. But according to the shaman Rafiki, whoever saved the Pride Lands would, would be king. Sora just wasn't qualified. As we started to leave the Pride Lands, we were surrounded by King Scar and his hyena henchmen, but Nala helped us escape. When Sora asked her if there was anyone else who, would, who could be king, she muttered if only Simba were here. Simba had fought alongside Sora a year earlier. Nala was thrilled to hear this news. Sora had told Nala that Simba had died along. Uh, Scar had told Nala that Simba had died along with Mufasa, their last king. Just then, Rafiki appeared and pointed toward the oasis. That's where Simba was. Nala asked him to come back to the Pride Lands, but Simba declined, saying it was better to forget the past and live for today. Hakuna Matata. Simba had been blaming himself for his father's death when he saw a vision of his father, who gave him the courage to return to the Pride Lands. Simba challenged Scar to a fight, during which he could learn the truth. Scar had killed his father, Mufasa. Simba roared in anger. Scar, Simba defeated Scar and let out a roar of triumph from the Pride Lo Rock Overlook. The lionesses responded to his call as their new king ascended to his throne. Animal Kingdom. Sora and friends arrived at the Pride Lands, the kingdom of the animals. Reunion with Simba. The three reunite with Simba. Finding yourself. Simba overcomes the past and stands, takes a stand to save the kingdom. The new king. Having defeated Scar, Simba becomes the new king of the Pride Lands. Got all the treasures, got all the pieces, got all the maps. The Underdrome Cerberus is available, which we're again still not going to do. 
Living Bone. Make sure to dodge its strong attacks as they deal huge damage. Weaken it constantly by crushing its head in the with the reaction command. With a, with a shaman, it powers up to unleash a deadly curses, but merely defeat it as you would a shaman. Shaman. It attacks from afar and moves around very little. It is mag very magic resistant and nullifies all attacks while taking on its masked form. The cursed flame it occasionally unleashes, unleashes firmly chases its target, but it can be used advantageously with reaction commands. Aerial Knocker. Once the battle begins, there is no fleeing. There's three types of punches, so figure out which it will unleash and choose an appropriate strategy. Its tackling punch is powerful, so defeat it quickly with successive reaction commands. And of course, some puzzle pieces. I don't think either of those, it's alright. And of course, King's Pride. Alright. Now, at last, we go back to Twilight Town. Sounds like we've got trouble. So we already got the chests here, but there are now a bunch of uh, puzzle pieces available. I'll only get the ones that are in this room. Just the right here. Nobody's, because yeah, those are enemies in this game too. Remember the organization? I know it's been a while, but they exist. We'll take it from here. <laughs> it's it's one thing after another today. It really is. Pivotal that we never uh, lose this berserker. And then just as pivotal later on will be that we never lose those berserkers. The other two. Oh. No, Goofy. Why? What have you done? I blame Goofy. I couldn't even... I obviously tried to move the thing over to hit the guy, but no. no. Go Goofy just decided, yeah, no. Sorry, Sora. I'm helping. Let me go block you. Yeah, Goofy, you done goofed. 
And to think, we just got him a brand new shield. I guess I shouldn't take damage to that. <laughs> Ooh, remote play. That sound was just lovely. That should do it. And it does. Yeah. Impressive. Thank you. By the way, have you seen a man named Axel? I expect he's here somewhere. Hey, it's our like friend Saix. You see, Axel's no longer acting in our best interest. Is he with the organization too? Yes. You are in a fight? Not a very organized organization. Uh -huh. Don't let your guard down. Axel will stop at nothing to turn you into a heartless. Gee, thanks for looking out for us, mister. But I'm sure we can take care of ourselves just fine. Glad to hear it. Axel aside, it would break our hearts to hear something happen to you. Hearts? You don't have any hearts. True, we don't have hearts. But we remember what it was like. That's what makes us special. What do you mean? We know very well how to injure a heart. Sora, you just keep on fighting those heartless. Let's jump in after him. Hey, his eyes are yellow. I'm not sure, but maybe he'll lead us to the organization's world. Don't be reckless. Do you want to end up like Riku? What? Hey! Wait! What did he mean? End up like Riku. Hey, how about you get out of my town now? You've caused enough trouble. Riku. Come on, your way. Come on, guys. Hold it. Make up your mind. <laughs> this goes to the strongest guy in Twilight Town. Thanks, but we don't really need it. Whoa! Oh, Sora! Um, Pence, right? Do you know a girl named Kyrie? K Kyrie? I sure do! Uh, then you better come to the station. Cypher's trophy. Trophy obtained from Cypher. It is decorated with four crystal orbs. Oh. That's not good. Yeah. 
right, because we died, we do still need to go back here to get that puzzle piece back. It's actually moving. I remember when this first came out on the PS4, Quick Run was messed up too. Look, people are at the shops. Ha! I'm your favorite customer. Give me all your money. You're the item shop. All right, here we go. <laughs> like, we'll get money at the end of the game, so that's the only spot I'll actually go farming for money. All this means is I have to actually be careful with ether usage. Hey! Uh... Hey, so how do you guys know Kyrie? was really here? Yeah. And she said she was looking for you. Tell me where she is! Well... What a romantic story. If you stick around, Sora's bound to show up. Yeah, he said he's coming back. Okay. What took you so long, Kyrie? Somehow, I just knew you'd be here. I tell you, Kyrie, you've got a lot of guts jumping right into the darkness like that. <laughs> Stranger danger. Stranger danger. Gotcha. Let go of me. Let go. Pluto, no. You think it might have been Axel? Sorry. Hey, it's not your fault. Come on, cheer up. <laughs> yeah, I mean Pluto's the real loss there. <laughs> I gotta help Kyrie. <laughs> Just do what you always do. <laughs> you are right. That was close. You are a genius. Extreme in Deutschland. You are a genius. Oh my god. Sorry. Oh my god. Sora, are you okay? Huh? What? And again, we just don't mention anything about the pouch.
What what just happened? A new road is open, and Kairi and Riku are waiting somewhere along it. You'd better hurry then. You coming back? Promise. Oathkeeper. Enhances magic and increases the duration of a drive form. Limit form. Access limit form alone with the help of friends far away. I passed on the message as you so desired. I told the young Sora to keep defeating the Heartless. Young Sora in the hizzle. Good. Not only have you the power to inflict pain, you also have the power to plant seeds of doubt in one's receptive heart. Sora will soon begin to doubt himself. It will cause him to hesitate. And that hesitation will turn to anger. That anger will fuel him to get rid of his apprehension and move forward. Anger. He will pave the way for the future we desire. There's something I've meant to ask. About Axel. The poor fool. How long will he keep chasing the illusion of friendship? When he himself lacks emotion. Trying so hard to retrieve what he has lost. When it may never have existed in the first place. He deserves nothing more than our pity. Bum, 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 bum. <sighs> the king, Riku, and now I've lost Kyrie again, too. Don't be sad. Donald's right, you know. Why, you're the key that connects everything. So it's all my fault. Gorge, I didn't mean that. Just do what comes natural to you, and we're sure to find them. You're sad. Mm. Thanks, guys. Uh -oh. oh no! Follow Bastion! It's all covered in darkness! You're right, Chipper! Uh, I wonder what's going on! Sora! We'd better hurry and check it out right away! Cypher! Self-appointed head of the Twilight Disciplinary Committee. Cypher does his best to keep the town up to his own rigorous standards, but not everyone appreciates his high-handed tactics. Take Hainer's Gang, for example. His followers, Fujin and Raijin, are never far away. Rai. One of Cypher's followers, you know. Rai get, tends to get carried away, you know. And truth be told, you know, he feels like he can't hold a candle to Fu, you know. Fu. One of Cypher's followers. She never says a word more than she has to. Leading to some very unusual one-worders. Fu has Cypher's complete trust, and sees her mission in life as making herself useful to him. Hmm. Vivi. A boy who lives in Twilight Town. It's not so much that he follows Cypher, but he's so meek he does whatever he's told anyway and usually gets stuck with the chores. In spite of all that, Vivi likes Cypher and admires his strength. They arrived in Twilight Town again to find Vivi desperately searching for help. Sora and friends ran to the Sandlot and defeated the nobodies who were threatening Cypher and his gang. Syax, a member of Organization 13, appeared to give the group a warning. It seems Axel has gone AWOL and was, at and was aiming to turn Sora into a Heartless. Hmm. He then made a fleeting remark about Riku before vanishing into the darkness. Cypher tried to get Sora to accept the trophy, proclaiming him the strongest guy in town. That's when a flustered Pence came by and asked, You know somebody named Kairi? Kairi had come to Twilight Town in search of Sora, but then Axel kidnapped her. I gotta help Kairi, Sora exclaimed. Just then the crystal from Cypher's trophy began to glow and a new road was open. Surely this road led to Kairi and Riku. And, and Raikou. And so believing, Sora and his friends were on their way to find them. Carrie arrives. Carrie arrives in Twilight Town in her search for Sora. Road onward, Sora's keep laid began to grow to glow, and a path to another world was open. And puzzle pieces appeared. And there are a bunch of missions to do. Most of them just being the uh what's it called? It's the chess and uh, not chess, the jobs that we could do as Roxas. And we need some growth abilities to do as Sora. Carrie, longtime friend of Riku and Sora, of Raikou and Sora, and one of the seven princesses with ties to the key to the keys and keyholes. 
She had lost her memories of Sora, and after they returned, she wanted to see him more and more with every passing day. Falling through an unexpected hole in the darkness, she arrived in Twilight Town and befriended Hainer, Pence, and Omelette, before being captured by Axel. Carrie is firmly hoping to meet up with Sora once more. Psyx, Organization 13 is number 7. He was in pursuit of the renegade Axel, but for some reason seemed more concerned about Sora's well-being. Psyx has no heart, but knows all too well how to injure one. No doubt his poise belies a more savage nature. He also insinuated he knew something about Ry Ryko. Nah, man. We only ever know Psyx when he's chill, cool, calm, and collected. He has no other personas. Berserker. Because we're not playing Persona. Ah! Berserker. A Berserker. A high-ranking nobody. Its attacks are hard to read as it is dragged around by a cursed hammer. Attacks from the front will only be parried by its hammer. Knock it down to make it let go of the hammer. Then pick up the hammer to unleash a flurry of attacks with Berserk. Puzzle pieces. Puzzle mode. Frontier. Two more. Dose Moss. And that is where we will pause for now. After uh, about six hours. <laughs>